Now, at work, there's this guy named Mike, okay? Now, Mike had a weekend job working at a summer camp, okay? And one day, Mike comes up to me, and he's like, hey, I work at this camp, all right? And we just barely got this group of new kids, this new program we're doing. Now, these are kids that are going down the same path you went down when you were a kid, okay? They're making all the same mistakes, and they're going down the same path. Would you like to come, give them a talk, maybe try and set them straight? make him work out, do like some boot camp stuff and just trying to like teach him the right ways to do things. And I'm like, yeah, man, anything to keep kids from going down the same road I went down, you know? Anything to stop kids from doing the gang life. And he's like, all right, and if there's anyone you wanna bring with you to help, let me know. And I was like, I know just the guy, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's the weekend and we show up to work with these kids and he's like, hey, the counselor who normally, normally works with these kids isn't here, but the kids are in this barn. So he brings me and Anton to this barn, okay? Yeah, all these kids are there, and they do not look happy. And he's like, these are the kids. I'm gonna go down the way and like play guitar or do whatever, do crafts. I don't know what he did, you know? And he's like, I'm gonna do this. Now you guys are gonna talk to these kids, make them work out, set them straight. And we were like, oh, we got this. So he leaves and immediately we start laying into these kids, okay? We are saying a lot of things to these kids. We're yelling at them. One of them looks Anton in the face and he's like, if you make eye contact with me again, I will pluck yours out and eat them. Yeah, I was like, whoa, two, where you leave yourself nowhere to go from there, you know? <laughs> where you can't just open up without eat your eyes. That's too much. You have nowhere else to go, you know? So we're just yelling at these kids. We're screaming at them. We're making them work out. They're doing push-ups. They are not pumped. It's like 2004, so we find the kid with like the puka shell necklace. He's the leader. We're just, <laughs> we're really giving it to him, you know? And so eventually one of these kids stands up and he's like, I'm not doing another push-up. And we're like, uh, you know, you are gonna do one. And Anton gets right in his face and he says, do push-ups or consequences. And the kid says, my parents will sue you. So a couple minutes later, he's choking this kid, right? <laughs> so hard. He's choking so, and so all the other kids are freaking out now. <laughs> And they're just like, Shane, do something. And I'm like, what, so I can get choked too? No way, you know? I'm the, he's done this to himself. So now, <laughs> so now everyone's doing push-ups. They're doing so many push-ups, okay? <laughs> they're so scared. And now people are crying so much. There's crying a lot, way too much. And I'm just like, these gangster kids are like, all of them are crying, so much snot. And I'm just like, we can see you crying. Like, get it together, you know? You're embarrassing. And that's when I'm like, what is with all these kids crying? And like, parents sue you? Bad kids don't have parents. And then I'm like, so I'm like, I gotta figure something out. So I'm like, Anton, are you gonna be okay alone with these kids? And he's like, I got it. <laughs> cool. So I go down the way to talk to Mike. I'm like, hey Mike, what's going on? Uh, nothing weird going on back there. Uh, you wanna tell me some more about these kids, how they're going down the wrong path, the same path I went down? And he's like, yeah, man, these are just kids that are like not listening to their parents. Some of them fell asleep in church, you know? <laughs> Sloughing class. I'm like, oh, okay, uh, cool. I'm gonna go now. Yeah, not gang members, just moderately bad Mormons, okay? <laughs> These kids are not, they're not ready for the heat we are bringing, okay? I thought they were like hardened killers. They're so soft. These are just soft white kids. I don't, I'm so worried. And then I have left them alone. <laughs> With Anton. Grown men shouldn't be alone with him. I'm running back to the barn, okay? I practically kick open the door. Inside the barn, everyone is shirtless for no reason, okay? All the kids have formed a circle, and in that circle, two kids are fighting to the death, Thunderdome style. Hard crying. Anton is just egging him on, and I'm like, dude, shut it down. Like, it's up. What is happening? Like all the kids in the corner and he's like, what's going on? And I'm like, get these kids over here. And he's like, talk to me, what's going on, man? And I was like, dude, we are, we're in so much trouble. Like, <laughs> dude, we're going to jail for sure. Like we've said, so these, these kids, he's like, what's going on? I'm like, they're not gangsters. They're just like 
falling asleep in church. And he's like, I've never even been to church. I was like, I know, okay? I, I, we've said so many things. You choked a kid, pretty sure that happened, okay? Uh, I think I told another kid I'd kill his dog. We've said so many things. We're going to prison, you know? We're going to prison for sure. And he's like, dude, I got this. Don't worry about it, I got this. And I'm like, okay. So he lines all the kids up and he's like, hey everyone, you're reformed. And he's like, they're like, yes, we are reformed. <laughs> Please make it stop. And he's like, you're good, you're good. You're all reformed. And he goes, here's the deal. Uh, if any of you tell anyone about this ever, we will kill all of you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they are so scared. And so <laughs> we're standing there and uh, we're like, okay, it's over. So we left, we left that weekend. I'm like, basically wait, I just go home. I'm like, I just wait for the police to come collect me, you know, <laughs> going to jail for real. And uh, didn't happen. Two days go by, no jail, work with Mike, two shifts, never mentions it. Uh, it's been about 10 years now, not one of those kids snitched on us. Yeah, yeah. Not one of those kids said a single word to us or to anyone about anything about us, which is crazy. I'd like to think a lot of those kids are 12, 13, okay? It's been about 10 years. <laughs> They're very young, okay? It's, it's been so long, it's been like 10 years now, and I'd like to think that some of those kids are like now graduating from Ivy League schools, and they're just like, yeah, once I fell asleep in church and I got my act together because my mom hired gang members. <laughs> one of them choked us, another one threatened to kill my dog. I never did anything wrong again. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs>